So in this video, uh, I want to go over, um, introduce you to React Native. So um, React Native is an open source uh, mobile application framework that Facebook actually created uh, that allows you to develop applications that will work on Android, iOS, and the web. Um, the, the underlying language that's used is called React, uh, which again is uh, maintained by Facebook um, and is uh, often referred to as uh, React.js uh, or React.js. Uh, and is, if, when you look at it, it'll kind of remind you a little bit of uh, HTML. Uh, it uses tags, uh, very similar to how HTML uses tags. Um, so, uh, when we're developing, um, with React Native, you do have a few different options for getting started. Uh, most of those are, uh, command line based in that, uh, you have to, um, run some command line, uh, things in your, in terminal. Um, and then it sets up an environment for you on your computer. However, there are a couple of third party options for doing this. And one that, that I like is called, uh, Expo. Uh, in particular, we're going to try and use Expo Snack, which is a web based platform for developing this. And if you even look on, this is React Native's website. Um, the, this, they actually use, um, Expo for all their, uh, code snippets that they give you. Uh, so it seems that it's endorsed um, by them. And regardless of whether you program your project in Expo Snack or some other coding environment, at the end of the day, you're going to be able to produce something that you can submit to the app stores, whether it's the iOS or the Android Play. Um, you'll, you'll be able to do that. Um, and also, at any time, you can stop any, and do what they call eject your project from snack and then put it in uh, use it on a different environment so um, you should feel comfortable coding in this environment um. uh, so how do you get started with uh, expo snack is you're going to go to expo.io um, this link will be in the description of the video um, and then you could click on sign up um, and then after you sign up, you should be able to, if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, there'll be something that says, try Expo Snack. Uh, you can click on that. And uh, then you'll come to an interface like this. By default, it gives you um, some starter code and you get this uh, weird name. There's all kinds of uh, kind of funny names they give you for your projects that you can rename. Uh, but you have an interface that looks like this, and there's kind of three main screens. The one here to the far right is your emulator, and you can kind of click between uh, oops, what it would look like on um, an iPhone or uh, Android as opposed to um, uh, the web. Uh, and then in the middle here, um, you have your code. Um, and then to the far left, you have your folder and file structure um, that you uh, will get more into later. Um, another really cool component uh, feature of Expo is that they have what's called the Expo Client, which is an application that you can download to your Android or iPhone device. And you can actually, uh, there's a button here uh, that you can click the, the run button here, come up with like a QR code, and then you'll be able to actually run the application on your phone to see exactly how it will uh, look uh, if it was in production. So that's pretty cool feature. Um, so getting started, let's try to make our first little application um, that just says hello world to the screen. So uh, if you notice in your folder structure, you have a file called app.js. This is kind of like the main file, the root file that everything runs through. Um, and so what I'd like you to do is just go in, like you'll have a lot of starter code that looks like this, just delete everything in there. And I want to simplify it just to get you started. And um, you're going to paste in this. Uh, there's a link here to the, this code. 
if you want to use that, uh, also be in the description. Um, but let's take a look. So this is kind of like a basic template that every page, the, the kind of the bare minimum that any page would have. And you start out with a, a couple imports at the top. Um, like I said, all React Native projects are, you use React. So you have to do this import of React. These imports at the top, uh, they're kind of similar to if you're developing in HTML and JavaScript, like you know the different uh, libraries that you need to use in a page in HTML. Um, this is kind of the equivalent of that, okay? Uh, so going back to here, um, we need React because that's what, you know, every page has to have this. Um, and then we also, uh, any component you need to use, you need to uh, import them. So we're going to, you have to have a view or nothing will show on the page. Um, and in this particular example that I'm giving you, we're going to use some text just to say hello world. So you need to import both of them. And that's being imported from React Native, okay? Uh, and then um, this is kind of the basic structure. You have um, ex export default function app. And basically what that's saying is, hey, we're going to, this page is going to export and then we're going to uh, return. Here's what we're going to return. So it's basically what do you want to render to the screen um, is what you're going to return um, to this page. And so uh, we, again, this probably looks very similar to what you might see in HTML, where this could be the view is kind of the equivalent of like a div in HTML. Um, then you put some elements inside the div. In this particular instance, we're putting a text tag. And, you know, you got the open and the close tag. And then in between, we're just writing what we want to appear to the screen. Um, and so once we kind of write that, um, you should see in the emulator, that it says hello world in the top left-hand corner. Super basic, there's no styling or anything going on here. Uh, we will do some of the styling stuff in the next tutorial. Um, but you should try and make sure you can get this to work first and then move on from there. Okay, so here's what the live view looks like. I'm in a Expo snack, um, arrogant graham crackers and um, so, all right, so uh, next step would be to copy the code that I had for you. And we're going to go right in here. I'm going to select all, hit delete. I'm going to paste in that code. Uh, it takes a moment to configure, and there we go. Um, and so, and just so you can see, if you wanted to uh, create a new um uh, program a new snack from scratch you would actually click here to view your snacks you can open a previous one that you've saved um, or you can scroll all the way down and right here you can click to create a new uh, snack when you click that it's going to bring you to that starter code that you just saw with a new project um, and then you know we can click on these to see how this would look on various uh, devices uh, if I hit here, it, it puts you into a queue sometimes and it could wait uh, 30 seconds, could be five minutes. Usually it's not longer than that. Now I'm down to position nine. Same thing for Android, but the web one, you know, is always uh, kind of immediate, um, but it is important to see how it looks on the other devices from time to time, especially if you're targeting a specific device. Um, that's it. So more next time. Thanks.